along here, which is now moving down Washington off of 9th Street from where my property is. Uh, my, my childhood home is still there, but it, it's hard for me to imagine because being down here when I was young, I, there was houses and, and buildings here where I couldn't even see my house back then. Now, um, it's the only thing there because we chose to stay. There's been a whole lot of memories in here. Parties, a couple weddings was in here. Um, and, the, and the kids went all went to school from here. And it's just it's just a lot of memories. And I had a daughter that, well, their mother had died of cancer, but I had a daughter that died when she was 13 from another house over there. So that's memories for me here too. And my, and my mother-in-law for all my good people. My mother and my family is a good family. And we and I just didn't wanna didn't wanna move. I didn't wanna move from this house. I really didn't. I really didn't. My dad he um he just never really talked a lot about work and I think that might have had to do with um maybe the um the situations that I've heard um that was going on in the mill of, of how the African-American workers were treated. And he probably just never really went into it, but he retired there. Um, he never he never really talked much about his job or, or what he did. I know, I think, I, I'm pretty sure he worked in the masonry department. He told me to stay away. No, she didn't, she called. He uh, gave up too much of his life, his health, working in the mill and then bought his health working in the mill. He had uh, um, somewhere with autism, he lost it all. Couldn't walk with one step. You have the steel mill, you have all this history. You have the, 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 um, the nation, the cradle of the nation. This is like where, in my opinion, where the nation was founded and the foundation of the whole nation. And I couldn't fathom, I couldn't understand why the government um, would let it just go down, go down the tubes. here in the United States, probably other places too now, but here it's always been, you're always fighting. You have to, you have to work a thousand times harder than the next person. You have to, even if you got degrees or you have a degree, you still have to, I don't know, it's like you just, everything has to be done triple, the effort is have to be triple just to get a fair shake. And that's even, in 2012 and that's just the way it is I mean so you're always the seed is already planted that you're gonna have to you're up against something you're born knowing you're up against something a lot of people and even me sometimes I think well this this has to be Satan or this has to be hell we might be in hell now maybe I died and this is where I ended up and it makes you think that way sometimes when you're actually going through it and you see and, 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 and experience it how, experience it how, just how difficult it really is to just to, just to have a, a normal life, not a, a millionaire life, but just a, 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 a normal relationship, a, 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 a normal middle-class job. And to know that you can't even get that, um, I, it's just, I don't know, it's just, um, is I don't even know the words to describe it right now. It's just dehumanizing. <laughs> 